Hey you guys, what's up? This is KShire22 here and today I am going to show you guys a solution to one of the most annoying problems I've encountered. Uh, so a while back ago, probably about two months ago, I had installed a Windows update. Now this Windows update, I don't know what it did, but it pretty much like wrecked my entire computer because every time I would turn on my computer, what would happen is that the taskbar and the desktop would just constantly just keep freezing up, not responding, and then refreshing. Um, now, you guys, I found a solution. Uh, a lot of these common solutions didn't work for me, and I had to find my own solution. And I'll show you guys how to troubleshoot that. But first off, you guys, let me get started and show you guys all the other solutions other people had found. So the most common one was getting rid of the IDT audio um, driver inside a device manager. So to do that, you guys, you just uh, right-click right the icon at the bottom left. Go under device manager underneath the audio inputs and outputs you should find that driver the idt audio now if you don't have it then that's not your problem you guys so just uh, don't worry about it and also um another thing that should not be a concern is removing that driver will have no impact on your audio your audio will still work fine if for some reason that you have an issue with that at all you can always hit scan for hardware changes and your audio, your default audio driver should reinstall if that was the case. But that should not be the case, you guys. Next thing is if you can get your taskbar to eventually load like I did, you can just hit the um, Windows key, type in CMD, right click it, and you're going to want to run it as administrator. Go ahead and accept the privilege, and then go ahead and type in SFC forward slash scan now. What this will do is it will scan your uh, computer for not just viruses but malware and other crap. And uh, I don't know what exactly it's scanning for, but a lot of people uh, came out with a positive um, comment saying that this worked and this fixed the problem. Um, for me, that wasn't the case. Neither two of these things fixed my computer. Matter of fact, my computer didn't have the IDT audio and the SFC command didn't do anything for me. It didn't find any error errors whatsoever. So now this next uh, utility that I'm going to show you is called msconfig and all you have to do is you, uh, you, you hold the Windows key and then you press R. You just type in msconfig, hit OK. Then we're going to go over to the services tab and here we will be able to find all of these three services right here. Uh, what we're going to want to do is make sure that we just uncheck all of these, alright? and um, the first one is Windows Error Reporting Service and I already have that unchecked Windows let me go ahead and do that Windows Error Reporting Service the next one is Problem Reports and Services scroll up till we find the P and what you guys will actually realize is that I do not have the Problem Reports and Services However, a lot of you guys may actually have that service, which is causing the problem or the conflict where uh, the you know Windows is having a problem starting up. So that is uh, something that's fixed a lot of other people's computers. Now, for me, you guys, neither one of those actually resolved my problem with my computer having uh, trouble booting up. And a matter of fact, what I had to do to find um, f find out that server the server service was the one causing problems was is I had to uncheck all of these and check one by one until I found that was the one that was causing problems but more than likely you guys what's gonna happen is uh, if neither three of these work um, I would suggest just going through doing what I did disable all and then check one by one restarting your computer and I'm sorry you guys it's a long process it took me two hours to find that but let me tell you once you figure it out and you find the process and the um, service slowing down your computer it is just it's a miracle when it starts actually you know when you get the computer to work the way it's designed to work you know so um that's all for this video you guys please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time